Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here, and I really do appreciate your time. If I have any new subscribers, hey, <laughs> how are you doing? Thank you for being here as well. Thank you for subscribing. I do not have an upload schedule, so <laughs> um, just keep your notifications on, and you'll be notified whenever I post a video to my previous subscribers. Hey, <laughs> thank you so much for coming back, for returning same thing use those notifications <laughs> okay so today i'm gonna be talking about this whole thing that kind of sparked yet another interracial dating debate on social media because the actor jay ellis and his new wife they just got married and she is i believe siberian her name is nina sinclair it has basically been this whole discussion on social media and what i think is funny is that jay ellis decided to turn off the comments for his wedding pictures that he posted on instagram and so obviously regardless of the fact that he turned off the comments people are still gonna talk about it and so i just wanted to quickly talk about this i'm googling different things about this situation and i just found this griot article or this article by the griot and the title is called jay ellis and his new wife are not harming you so why the vicious social media <laughs> the author is monique judge that's a click on her picture she is a black woman but she is light-skinned well at least she looks like a light-skinned black woman basically people are discussing on social media how they feel about lawrence um marrying a non-black woman a white woman um, and i just wanted to say quickly is i think the issue here is that so many times we have celebrities in particular black male celebrities who kind of come up and become famous based off of their attachment to a black american property tv show movie you know ip whatever and because they are they basically become famous from this property we then assume that oh okay well that means that they want us right and it's not to say that because he married a siberian woman that he's not or that his politics are not black or his, you know, you know, it's, it's we're not gonna, I'm not, I don't feel like I can say all that about him, you know. But I think because people have associated this actor with, you know, the Insecure show and that show has a lot of like black American um, aesthetics, particularly a lot of black American West Coast aesthetics. And so people are like, okay, well, what is Lawrence doing? <laughs> like, people are not able to make amends with it. And I see people were saying certain things on social media that I that were pretty wild. But that's what people do on social media, okay? People on social media say disgusting things. They, you know, over-exaggerate themselves. They tend to take anything that they can and they either project onto it or they believe that this is a personal attack against them. First of all, first of all, if Jay Ellis wants to marry the Siberian woman, that's perfectly fine, okay? It's, it's not that big of a deal. Black women are beautiful. We attract everybody, and there will be plenty of men out there for black women, whether they are black themselves or not, okay? So if you were one of those ladies who saw this news, and you got upset, and you took it personally, no okay it's not it's not for you to take personally like i always said when it comes to interracial dating my premise is always pretty much this if there is no anti-blackness if there is no sort of complex or anything that you are you know holding on to that is the reason why you are dating outside your race is no problem it's no issue you know similar to people who are in the lgbtq community you you love who you love you fall in love with who you fall in love with and if that's not a black person and you are a black person that's okay but i did want to say this this is what i think is actually going on so i wanted to just mention another black that i really let me type it in there he is Okay, so perfect example. Here is a black celebrity that I think based off of what we associate with him and like kind of the characters that he's played in television, we kind of don't expect, we basically look at him as like a coon. 
even though he probably really isn't like he might not even be a coon in real life because he played carlton and because he was like kind of the corny black guy that's how we think about him in real life alfonso ribeiro he has a white woman he has white looking kids them kids don't even look black so but i think we don't like care because again we never associated him with black culture again because of the character that he played we don't really expect him in real life we are we are not expecting him to be with a black woman and he's not now i'm not to say that the character that he played on the fresh prince in any way relates to how he is in real life but i'm just using him as an example to explain that a lot of times when we see an actor and particularly black men we see them in television when we see them in movies and we see them you know associated with typically black american properties we tend to have certain expectations of them we tend to like associate certain things with them and in their real life that's not that may not be how they really are they may not actually have any black any black politics now before i go i did kind of want to talk about this notion of like black male celebrities right who are kind of intentionally associated with you know black movies and black tv shows um as a part of their marketing strategy as a part of a way that goes with their brand or promotes their brand and then in real life you never see them with black women <laughs> i don't really know how i feel about that like i guess you i guess i could say no you can feel ways about someone who kind of gains their fame and success and makes money off of a black woman fan base and then in real life all of that money goes to a non-black woman or their partner who is a non-black person i guess you can feel ways about that i guess you can like look at that and be like what's that like that's that's kind of shady that's kind of sketchy but at the same time i'm just like <laughs> like people are people people are gonna do what they do and like i said as long as there is no kind of anti-blackness I have no issue. I have no qualms about it. I say do what makes you happy, whether you're a black man or a black woman. That's how I feel about it. Now, I did want to say the whole turning the comments off, I feel like that was a little cowardly. Just just a little because I feel like, listen, if you know that you're going to be dragged because you're associated with you know all of these black american properties because you're associated with you know black television and black film and so you don't feel like dealing with the backlash okay that's fine i understand that however a lot of times black female celebrities are not given the same space and whether they turn the comments off or not they are dragged People say horrible things about them. So I feel like him turning the comments off kind of like expressed that he knew that he could have, he's possibly in a weird spot. But listen, <laughs> y'all, it is what it is. It's let this man be, let him and his little wife be. I hope, I wish them the best. I hope that they are able to have a long, successful marriage. And it's whatever it's like i said every time a black man gets married you know to a non-black woman it's not a slight to us it's not it doesn't mean it's the end for us it doesn't mean that we're not gonna have nobody it doesn't mean any of that like we're gonna be okay we're gonna be fine we're still fine we're still desirable everyone still tries to look like this everyone still tries to copy our aesthetics and at the end of the day we know and understand that black women Regardless of all of the anti-black foolishness that gets spread by scientists and relationship experts, and all, bah, 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 we know that the real deal is the black woman is ideally the most beautiful woman on the planet. And that's why everyone wants to look like us, take from us, and copy us all of the time. Okay. <laughs> but yes, um, that's all I have to say on this matter. <laughs> it is what it is please make sure you are subscribed to my channel and have your notifications bell turned on so that you don't miss any of my commentary any of my videos whatever i post if you're feeling what i'm saying please comment below and if you're not feeling what i'm saying comment below as well all that i ask is that you be respectful okay 
Alright, thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.